Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit like Nadav on Sony Vegas Pro. Now, this video is heavily inspired by him, so if you would like to check him out, please go to the link in the description. He makes really, really entertaining content, and today I'm going to be attempting to show you exactly how to make effects just like him. Before the video starts, please can you guys do me a quick favour by just dropping a like and subscribing with post notifications on. It really would mean a lot as I have spent quite a bit of time into this video, so if you could just take two seconds to pay me back by dropping a like and turning on notifications, it really would mean a lot. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing for this effect, you want to find a point in the song where there's three consecutive beat drops, just like something like this. Uh, and then you want to mark these up, and then make sure that the kill is on the last beat drop. If you don't have three consecutive beat drops like this in your video or song, don't worry about it, you can still make this effect look really, really good. You just have to skip a few steps out. So what we want to go ahead and do now is sync that up and then add velocity. Just add a point, and then go eight frames back. Uh, add a point there and then go one in front then go like three quarters in put this to 50 percent put this to 300 now what we want to go ahead and do is find an area where the character is easy to track so i think around here is where the character stays pretty central so we're going to split the clip here and then we're going to click control or hold control and then drag it up and then we're going to click u and we're going to delete this audio layer and now we're going to have two of these same videos i'm just going to find where the kill happens and drag this around here and then we're going to completely remove the fade that we had from before i can just get rid of that and then we can reset all the velocity points and basically replicate them on here how it is so that's on normal and here we're just going to put this up to 300 percent like that all right now that you've copied the velocity and all that so it syncs up nicely what we're going to go ahead and do is just go to the pan and crop hit mask and hit on the overall and just create an overall shape, a rough overall shape around your character. Move it across. Put the feather type to out and then put this to about 15%. Hit enter and that is done. Now we're going to be adding a bit of glow. So you can use whatever you want. I recommend you using this S glow and then just copy my settings right here. You can mess around with this color as well. So if you have a different colored skin, you can also use that. And yeah, we'll just leave that like that now. I recommend fading it in a little bit so it's not all of a sudden. And that will just track over the character for the rest of the clip now. Now what you can also do is just move it around a little bit. Keep adjusting it until it looks about right. I'm just going to leave that for there for now. I'm going to be adding a bit of impact to the beat drops. So first you want to split the clip um, where the beat drop happens. And then we're just going to be adding a bit of shake. Let's go to S underscore shake. And then copy my settings right here. Uh, you can just copy these. I think most of these are default but there you go just copy these settings keep in the amplitude and then go about six frames in so we're gonna go actually yeah about six frames one two three four five six and then just put this down to zero and then we're just gonna be adding a bit of glint just to make it glow a little bit you can also use s underscore glow i think glint looks really really good for this again just put it to the brightness is 0.1 and make sure the blur glint is all at the bottom so it uh, looks pretty good so we're gonna go six frames in again We'll just drag it here, put this down to zero. And now the first sort of impact is done, it will look a little bit like this. There you go. All right, the next impact, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. So we just wanna go ahead here and split. Also split this one up here as well. And we can also split it here where the kill happens. So now just complete the exact same process, just to sync it up, make it look really, really good. Six rounds in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put this down to zero. And then get the shake and put the beat pump or whatever you want to save it as. Keyframe this here is 1.3. Go all the way down here and put this to zero again. Now that you've done that, we're going to be adding a bit of a color effect, which looks really, really good. So we're going to add a color corrector. You can go ahead and copy my settings when I drag this on. So just go to the custom and then go around here on the color area and mess around with these settings so it looks something like this and that's basically going to isolate all the colors other than the blue i want to make sure this is on both top and bottom right here so when the sort of beat happens the color is also going to get removed and it's going to look really really clean like that 
So now that we've done that, we're also gonna be adding a bit of film damage. So you just wanna go ahead and search film damage, go to S underscore film damage, and just go ahead and copy these settings and drag this on both of the layers again, just like that right there. So I was just gonna add a nice bit of particles and it'll just look, make it look a lot better. Okay, so now that we've done this, we're gonna be adding a few more effects. First one is gonna be pinch punch. This is gonna give it a nice sort of impact on the kill. So I wanna do this for both layers. Let's put this down to zero and then you want to animate this so let's just open this up hit animate here and then you want to go 10 frames back from so from the end here you want to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten drag this over to here and go to the end of the clip and then put this all the way down to minus one and then again go ahead and do the same thing here so now that you've done that what we're going to go ahead and do is add some effects after the kill first we're going to add clean flicker which i have saved already you can just go ahead and copy my settings i'm going to lower the brightness a little bit keyframe the amplitude go about two thirds into the video and put this down to zero then we're going to be adding in some shake this can be any old highlight shake it's just the generic sort of shake that's used on most highlight videos you can copy any of the settings from previous videos but i'm going to be using dignal's really nice shake here so again just go about two thirds in and lower this all the way down now that we've done that we're going to be adding another shake this is just an impact shake first start by keyframing at 2.5 you can copy these settings let me just open these all up so you can copy all of these settings here once you've done that you want to keyframe that amplitude go eight frames in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put this down to zero. I put 20, zero. And then go six frames in from the start. So go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then put this to 2.25, just like that. That's gonna give yourself a nice little bit of impact. After you've done that, you wanna add a bit of glow again. You can use the same glow as before because the color just looks really good. Depends on sort of the scenario of your clip. I've got a blue skin here, so I'm gonna be using blue theme effects, but you can change the color to literally whatever you like, whatever you think looks good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keyframe this again, go about two thirds into the vid and put this all the way down. I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, if it did help you out, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really, really would mean a lot to me. So I did spend quite a lot of time just figuring out the right settings for this. Also, if you'd like to check out my highlight videos on my channel, I would also really appreciate that. But yeah, that's basically the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a great day.